Today we're talking about curb appeal on a budget. So let's get started. Hi everyone, I'm Holly Grissel and I'm a realtor with Daniel Gale Sotheby's International Realty right here in Stony Brook, New York. If this is the first time that you're visiting my channel, please be sure to hit the subscribe button. I post new videos every Thursday, all things real estate, and you don't want to miss a thing. So most of us have heard the saying that you only have one chance to make a first impression, right? Well, the same thing applies when you're selling your home. You know, in today's day and age, buyers are looking online, and besides the obvious things like price and taxes, the next thing that they're looking at are photos, and that's what's really gonna motivate a buyer to get off their chair and come and look at a house. So what you wanna do is make sure before you even have your realtor there that your curb appeal is the very best it can be. Before you dive in, you have to know what you're dealing with. So go out to the street and look at your house. Really look at it. What sticks out is an eyesore? What maybe looks pretty good? Begin making a list of all of the things that you need to address. And remember, we're not trying to sell the house to you. We're trying to sell it to a buyer. Take a before photo. I think you'll really appreciate all of the hard work you're about to do when you look back at where you started. So now I'm gonna go over eight things to keep in mind. Number one, let's look at the driveway. Are there weeds along the edges or even among cracks? Does it need to be sealed? Now the worst case scenario is, does it really need a new driveway? Now that is an expense and it's a big expense. However, that could be the difference between somebody coming to look at your home and not. I promise this will be the biggest expense item in my list today. Next, you wanna tidy up. Make sure there aren't any toys or lawn equipment just scattered about. Clean all of that stuff up and put it away. Then you wanna mow and edge the lawn and make sure it looks really nice. Number three, if you have a fence, does it need any sections repaired? Those you'll definitely wanna take care of. And then the overall condition of the fence itself, does it need to be painted? Or how about power washing? You could actually rent a power washer pretty inexpensively from your local hardware store. So number four, while you have that power washer out, take a look at the house itself. The roof, the siding, the walkways, and again, back to that driveway. Take advantage if you did have to rent a power washer and just make sure you give everything a really great cleaning. Now, if you've ever power washed before, you know that a lot of debris gets on the windows. So now would be the perfect time to go ahead and clean those inside and out. Once you finish power washing, that's when you want to attack the flower beds. So you want to trim the bushes, add uh, mulch to the, the beds themselves, and also you can add all kinds of great color with potted plants. Number seven is don't forget your water features. You want to make sure that the sprinklers are all working properly. And also if you have a bird bath, make sure it's free of algae and that it is working properly. Finally, number eight is the front door, and this is when you want to make sure you glam it up. Make sure you have a fresh coat of paint on the front door. The whole entryway is devoid of any cobwebs. So not only do you want to look up in all of the nooks and crannies, but also the lighting fixtures. Make sure that they're clean and do not have any cobwebs either. And don't forget to check the lights. You want to make sure that the lights work. The entry area is also a great place if your home accommodates it to have seating with colorful pillows. A fresh welcome mat. So those are my tips for curb appeal on a budget. If you would like to get this information emailed to you, just post a comment down below. And while you're at it, please be sure to like and subscribe to my channel. As I mentioned, I post new videos every week all about real estate and you don't want to miss any of it. Thanks again for watching. Mm -hmm.